So I think you know going in it's going to be a tough at bat. Uh, you're going to have to grind it out. Um, really stick to your plan and, 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 and just do the best you can to compete. Um, we had a solid outing again today. Uh, Hosey was able to get him with a, with a three-run homer there. But outside of that, he threw pretty well. So uh, we were just fortunate to scratch some, scratch some runs across and then get some later. On that double that was hit over Delino's head, what was going through your mind and when did you know you had to pick it up to go get it just in case he didn't catch it so it didn't become a triple or inside the park home run? At first, off the bat, just trying to you know give him some help, uh, let him know uh, to get back. And as he's getting towards the wall, um, you know he got a great read on it, uh, put himself in a really good position to 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 try and make a play there. Um, unfortunately, the ball uh, hit off the wall, and at that point, just doing the best I can as a good teammate, backing up, um, just to, just to understand that you know he has the ability to be aggressive there, um, and and our job as corner outfielders or the off outfielders are to make sure that he has some help back there. On the ball hit by Cruz, did you know where you were at when you were getting ready to catch it, or were you just <laughs> waiting to hit fill the wall? I knew that I was getting close. Um, took a quick peek there as I was working back. Um, you know, Cruz has tremendous power, so um, under understanding just kind of you know how he hit that ball and um, was able to you know have some room there at the end and make that catch. Greg, is you wear that shirt that you have on, and as you kind of see what's going around our country right now, whether it be in Wisconsin or other places. Just what are your thoughts on, on what you can do in the place that you are right now to help try to change what this world is about? Yeah, um, you know, there's, there's, there's clearly a whole lot going on um, in today's world and, you know, in our society. And um, you have people across the board who, who, who have their opinions. Um, and the beautiful part about living in this country, we're all entitled to that. Um, but I think, you know, at the very foundation, I think, you know, whether you're, you know, on one side of it or the other, uh, I think we all understand that, um, you know, th there needs to be some kind of change. Um, something needs to be addressed. Um, it's not something that can happen overnight. I can't sit here and tell you that I have all the answers. I don't think any one person can. Um, I think it's going to take a collective effort. Um, I think it's, 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 it's about getting to understand the people next to you. Um, regardless of gender, race, breed, age, um, and, and, and any other type of predisposition, um, and, and really understanding uh, just at a human court level um, the world that we live in. Um, we're all in this together, and the only way that this gets better um, is by relying on one another. So um, it's a tough time, but uh, I definitely uh, I have hope, you know, hope for our country, hope for the people, even in today's world, even this current generation. Um, that we have the ability to affect change. Greg, was, was there any talk about not playing today? Uh, some teams did not. Um, so for us, I think when we first started getting word that some teams weren't, I think the first um, indication we had of it was when the Brewers decided that they weren't going to play. Um, at that point, I think we maybe have been about 45 minutes or so outside of first pitch. Um, so uh, rather, we, we, there really was no conversation about it. I don't think, you know, crossed anybody's mind at that point. Um, had we been in a different time zone or had a later game or stuff had happened sooner, maybe. Um, but for us, even though we, we, we had seen it, you know, we were still um, just getting ourselves prepared to go play tonight. Hey, Greg, that was all so well said. Um, do, do the events that are going on around us then maybe bring per some perspective in terms of Mike Clevenger's situation that, you know, that this is something that, that should be forgiven and you guys got to get past it because... <laughs> Like you said, there are much bigger things going on right now. Uh, definitely. I mean, uh, again, we're all human beings. Um, I think we are uh, all susceptible to making mistakes. Um, and, and, and even on our, birth, on our best days, we're not perfect. Um, and again, I think it's about having that empathy, um, being able to look in the mirror and understand that, that it's, it's, it's sometimes trial and error. Um, we're going to fall down, um, but... but we have to get ourselves back up. And when you have people that are around you willing to help pick you back up, it makes that process even easier. So um, I commend our team. I commend, uh, you know, both Mike Clevenger and Zach Plesak on just, just what it takes to get through this process. Uh, it, it, it definitely hasn't been easy for them, I'm sure. It hasn't been easy for our, our team as a whole. But um, I think it's something that when we look back on it, it's going to make us stronger. It's going to make them better. It's going to make us better as teammates. Um, and I think that's, uh, that's the positives that we can take away from it.